Time now for your three brilliant minutes, the part of the day where we all get a little smarter. Hello, Brad. Greetings, Chris. Fans of Elon Musk's SpaceX disappointed this morning when Starship was supposed to make its maiden launch into space nine minutes before takeoff scrubbed. <laughs> so um, the most powerful rocket. Tallest, Not most, so powerful today. Correct. Tallest, most powerful rocket ever created by man. However, they're going to have another launch attempt in as early as 48 hours from now. So you'll okay. be hearing about more about this later this week. This is Starship because we haven't talked about this one yet. Right. We've talked about the internet sure. satellite. Yep. We've talked about, you know, the Dragon space capsule and all those other things. Let me give you a little bit of a bigger view. This is a two-stage rocket. First stage, second stage. The second stage is where astronauts or cargo can ride. Again, the whole rocket is about 400 feet tall. It takes off on 33 of these Raptor engines down here on the first stage of the rocket, which is called Super Heavy, which incidentally is totally reusable. Uh, SpaceX provides this little bit of video, but watch this. It returns to the launch pad. What? And it's captured. So instead of just landing, it's captured by those big arms. They don't have to fish it out of the drink or anything? It just goes right back to the same spot? That's the main plan. This, this initial launch will still land in the ocean, but okay. eventually it will be okay. reusable. Now on to Starship. It can carry at one time up to 100 astronauts or 150 tons of cargo or some combination thereof. And that's why this Starship is a very important part of Elon Musk's plan to going to Mars, where this also will land when it reaches Mars. And eventually when the people get there, they will open the door and they will spot the Martian colony. Now this starship, by the way, will also- <laughs> I'm sorry, but that looks like a Super Bowl stadium. <laughs> the way it's all well, over the hey, what, who knows? With the NFL's marketing, maybe yeah, it will be, right? Boom. Hey, listen, um, a starship will also be taking astronauts to the moon as part of the Artemis program as well. That will come well. first. Yes, 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 yes it will. Okay. Our little buddy, the Mars helicopter, it's 50th 50. flight. 50. 50th flight. We were excited and about the first one. I know, one. I know. And I'm excited about the 50th yep. one. And we're coming up on the uh, two-year anniversary on April 19th, by the way, of its first flight. But it keeps going strong. It was uh, almost 60 feet into the atmosphere, the highest flight it's ever taken so far. And there's one other thing going on in the night sky. The Lyrid meteor shower is underway from the 16th through the 25th. In fact, it peaks Saturday night. Okay, oh. and it averages pretty good. It's a reliable meteor shower, 15 to 20 per hour. The biggest problem is going to be our weather. Maybe we get a peak Tuesday night if we're lucky Sunday towards daybreak, but otherwise it does not look very favorable here this year. All right, Brad, thanks so much. You bet. Thank you for starting.